Hey Star Wars fans, cheers for tuning in to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Got some new ones today, fresh from my local EB Games slash Zing Pop Culture. This time we're looking at the Mandalorian Loyalist. I'm really excited to get some of these new Clone Wars figures. Um, didn't get Ahsoka yet, but I did get two of this guy and the first of two 3.30 seconds. Um, the Moldalorian Trooper wasn't available um, here in Australia. Just, just the three figures. I'm not sure why that happened, um, but I do have one of them on the way too. So, very excited for these. These look fantastic. Um, more Clone Wars is always a good thing. Uh, so yeah, let's let's open up this guy and uh, and take a look. All right, here is the Mandalorian Loyalist, looking very, very cool, using majority of parts from Jango Fett, um, which has recently been re-released as well so <clears throat> a few new elements to this figure um, being the helmet um, just bring my light up a little bit closer so the helmet is a new element um, being that he doesn't have the range finder um, probably more accurate to the Mandalorian's Mando helmet <laughs> the Mandalorian um, but the uh, bottom here is a little different uh, they've done a really good job with the sculpt um, I've been really critical of the releases of the Mandalorian due to the fact that his helmet really didn't quite get the mould right with that sort of um, sloping sort of helmet down towards the, the bottom. But if you look underneath, there is, uh, you know, it's just a simple ball joint uh, up in the top there. It does have some nice detailing and sort of armour scratches throughout the, throughout the figure. Um, new elements include the belt, the the top thighs, um, just they house the the holsters there, the built-in holsters to the armor, and I'm pretty sure that's about it. Um, but the rest of it is Django, and the rest of it works fine. Um, I have seen some people with the wires that are already breaking. My newest gaming greats, Django Fett, did do that. That happened, unfortunately, where those wires did break. But, um, you know, for the most part, it's not a big deal. Um, it was actually kind of a relief to be able to pose him a little better, to be honest, um, once they were once they were gone. Um, so I ended up just slicing them off. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. With Django, I might end up just painting some black lines or something or else, something like that. But... Overall, this is pretty great. I was really excited to get two of them. Um, looking forward to getting the Moldalorian as well. We'll take a look at his blasters. So that's sort of Mandalorian. I can't remember what they're called. I keep wanting to call them the West Star, but that's Django Fett's blasters, which are slightly different, or very different. But uh, yeah, they fit fit nicely into the holster there. So yeah, they're very much like a uh, simplified version of the Mandalorians we saw in the Clone Wars. Uh, fighting under Bo-Katan against Maul and his Maldalorians. But yeah, in the same jetpack as Jango Fett, uh, his earlier one. He recently did come up with the, the Gaming Greats one, had the missile. Um... And I've seen some that have missed that red, red painting paint stripes there on the on the jetpack. So um, yeah, there are some sort of missed paints out there. The sort of I'm not sure if it's meant to be Death Watch. I know it's not the Death Watch logo, which is yeah you know, W looking looking logo. But it does have those elements on the shoulders. But overall, just really cool figure. Like I said, really glad to have a couple of them. Um, they look great posed together. Just a couple of uh, sweet looking Mandalorians. And I really dig the sort of the blue and grey colour scheme and a few accents of red around the around the armour and over the figure. And lots of, sort of this sort of grey weathering on the armour, like I mentioned before. I'm digging it. I'm looking forward to the Moldalorian, which is, uh, you know, what fans are commonly calling him. But 
But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this short, sharp and shiny review. I'm really digging these Mandos. Um, you know, hope you can get your hands on them. I know they were a very limited release here in Australia. The sort of um, Ron Zing, this guy probably lasted the longest. But uh, the Moldalorian was never made available. But uh, yeah, never mind. I'll try and track, track some more down at some point, hopefully. Hopefully Hasbro realises that making them, making them an exclusive was a bit of a mistake. But um, never mind. Alright folks, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, may the force be with you. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.